So, as everyone knows, Minecraft is one of the most popular and successful games out there. Despite being made in 29, it still had a high rank until today and belongs in the top 10 most played games at the moment because it had to come back in the late 2019 and that's why I decided to try remaking it and take over it. Well, of course, that's not going to happen. <laughs> So as you guys probably know, Unity have its own pre-builder cubes and we can even duplicate it and stuff. And probably you are thinking, yeah, that's cool, it's going to be easy if you use them. No you little f it's so f expensive using them, they will literally eat your RAM for dinner. So that's why I had to make them from scratch, without containing the additional stuff of meshes and colliders. So if I break this up, basically we have to make a cube using vector 3s and their coordinate of x, y and z in space. So the cube will be combined of bunch of triangles following a unit of 1. If that made any sense. And as you can now see we got the first side of the cube, a white square hanging right there, we just have to do the same thing with the other 5 sides and we have our new burn cube using only script. It has the same size as a regular pre-made one with a unit of 1, but a lot more lighter. Then I went to my friend Google and searched it for Minecraft textures. Then I slapped it on top of it. Of course we need more than one cube for our wall, so I've made a script to control that and what you are seeing now is actually 8 cubes next to each other. If we take a closer look you can see the edges right there and we can even make it huge as my <coughs> yep and it was actually the end of the day so I just went to sleep to come back tomorrow with more energy so the next day started with some programming as usual and trying different stuff Yesterday we had the ability to generate cubes with the only texture that we downloaded so I had to get more textures and define the different levels so I downloaded some of them and slapped them right into my world and as you can now see we have the grass in the top then stone and finally bedrocks in the bottom and as everyone knows Minecraft is not a flat surface <coughs> yeah I'm speaking about the map you dirty minded <laughs> So we have to make different levels of ground. I got right into Visual Studio and started smashing my keyboard all around the place. I kept twisting around and of course I ran into some bugs at first. But I don't know how the f it came to work. And I ended up with this. Now we have a level looking close to Minecraft and if I go under it, we can see that I removed the side that the player can't see when he's playing for better performance. And speaking of performance, I found this smart idea online. If I move the ground, it generates as the player is moving, which is a hella FPS booster. And that was actually all I did on second day. So I started the day by setting up the first person shooter script. Yesterday we managed to have a small prototype of the map and today we're going to test the feeling of landing on it. The map. And as you can now see we can now jump, move and sprint all around the place and get on different ground levels. Let me just get to the top and show you how is the view from there. There you go. Piece of art. And if you notice the map keeps generating our way as long as the player moves toward a direction. So I did some cleanups for the existing scripts and we have our game running smoothly at 200 FPS. So the next thing I wanted to work on is the blocks destroy and add system so I jumped ahead to unity and started setting it up and I added the crosshair to see where the player is pointing and it ended up like this. So now I can add blocks and destroy them. Well for this I used a tutorial that I found online and it was working pretty good all the way. I can now build up as you can see and if I keep digging under the ground you can see the different levels of ground such as stone. And that's actually was all I did on that day. So I started the next day by working on the toolbar. I started designing it in Unity to look like the real Minecraft. And it ended up like this. So now it actually don't do anything yet. But that's the primary look of it. You still can only build one kind of block so we're going to work on that. I jumped ahead to Unity and I made some icons for different blocks. I set up the script responsible for it and as you can see, what the f So I fixed that, now the highlighted blocks are matching the icon's position and guess what? I can now build different kind of blocks and destroy them all around the map. And we still have a good FPS rate, as you can see, which is great. 
After that I started coding a tree generator so we can have random trees around the map as it felt a little empty and this is what it was looking so far. Oh f*** me man. So finally we have normal trees with wood base not some brick trees and as you can see they take different positions around the whole map and it was already the end of the day. So it is the last day before uploading so I wanted to make some final touch to the game and I started by adding the player hand like in Minecraft and set up different animation for it while running and gathering and this is what it was looking so far. So the hand swing when running and another click animation when pressing the mouse button. After that I went to the asset store and downloaded a low poly skybox and this is how the final product is looking like. Well, to set in mind, I only had like uh, 2 or 3 hours daily to work on this, so that should be taken on consideration. If you guys made it to this point, I would really appreciate you subscribing and leaving a like. Also, you can join the Discord server with the link in the description. Thank you guys for watching and peace out.